Hi everyone, this is Kareen Carpino with Kareen Carpino Art and I'm so happy you're joining me today to learn how to paint this foggy landscape. We're going to use cloudy blue, cool peri, slate, pebble, denim, teakwood, meadow, bottle, and pool ink. So here's an example of a finished background. Let's get started. We're going to use alcohol blending solution and I'm using my own homemade recipe. This is two ounces of 91% alcohol and two drops of pure vegetable glycerin. We're going to start with a piece of 5x7 UPO and put some of that blending solution all over the page um, so that we can prepare to lay down our inks. And I'm going to take my hand and just move that all around so I'm sure that that page is totally wet. Let's hold our paper up so we can let gravity help us in the process and start with our cloudy blue ink. I'm going to put a little bit of that along the top of this piece of paper and just turn this paper side to side so that that ink is running across the paper to start to create our sky. I'm just going to continue to gently continue to tilt that paper letting the inks move with the blending solution that's on the paper. And it's okay to use your fingers to help that ink move. Next I'm going to take some Cool Perry and put that at the bottom as you can see of that cloudy blue. And let's now let that mix in a little bit with the cloudy blue. And again, tilt our paper from side to side to start to mix those colors together. Now it's a very humid day here in Florida and so those colors are going to stay wet for a while and mix pretty slowly. The next color we're going to use is slate and again we're going to put that along as you can see the bottom of the cool peri and we're just letting it creep up into the wet area so we're going wet into wet here. And I continue to tilt this paper and I can keep tilting and moving the paper as long as those inks are wet and get some really interesting patterns. I'm moving my paper just all around, upside down, and I'm starting to get a look like I've got a really cloudy sky and a mountain range in the background. And let me just zoom in here so you can, can see what's happening with this ink. So this is a design I would never be able to do again because it's all dependent on the inks and the temperature and the humidity and the amount of blending solution. But you get the idea by starting with the cloudy blue, then the cool peri, uh, and then the slate how you can get that effect of uh, mountains in the background on a cloudy day. Let's see what happens when we add some pebble ink now um, to create another layer of landscape. The pebble has more of a greenish tint to it, so this will help us create a foreground. I'm using a distress marker spritzer tool just to create some air to keep that ink in place. Uh, you can see me demoing here. You can also use a rocket air duster. Uh, anything that adds some air so that that, that ink does, stays down and doesn't crawl back up into that mountain. Um, and now I'm going to add a little bit of gray ink, slate gray, to create some um, additional layers in this landscape. And I'm going to continue to work this landscape um, until I get something um, that will be interesting in front of that really cool mountain ridge in the distance. So I want to lighten this up and change the shape a little bit. So I'm going to use some 91% alcohol um, on a number eight round brush. And I'm just going to go in and lighten up some areas. Again, I want this to appear very light in the background. 
um, as if there's fog, a mist, and so my background needs to stay light to give this effect. And I'm going to continue to add alcohol along this mountain ridge, changing the shape a little bit and letting it mix in with the ink below and create some interesting effects in areas of light and dark. And I'm really giving the inks a chance to move and do their own thing, drying them slightly when I like the pattern that's there. Um, and I really want to get some of this hard line uh, out of the top of this mountain ridge. So now I'm going to use a Q-tip while that ink is still wet to just pull some of that hard line out um, because I'm feeling that that hard line would not be seen if the day was cloudy and foggy. It would all kind of blend into the background. So I'm trying to create a sense here through the colors of ink that I'm using um, and through the placement of color and the placement of light and dark um, to create the mood. Okay, let's start adding a path in in front of our mountain range to add some perspective. And I'm starting at the bottom right hand side of the paper with just some alcohol on my brush. And I'm pulling that point uh, right off the left hand side of that paper so that um, the perspective is that this road goes right off the paper and my vanishing point is out to the left. And now let's add some color to the bottom left hand side of the paper. And for this, I'm going to pull out my pool and just add a little bit of color in there in pool and let that drip down. And then I'm going to add some more slate gray to that and just take my brush and run it up and down. I don't want to lose the path. And then once I get the path in there where I want it to be, continuing to remove some alcohol with the brush, I'll come back in and create some texture in the foreground. So let's do that now. I have a little bit of alcohol on this brush. You can see I've zoomed in here a little bit so that you can see the texture that that alcohol makes with the uh, inks. I'm going to put a little bit of that pebble in the front and just move it around a little bit with my brush, just trying to create some foreground in this painting. We'll just move that around. And I want to keep this pretty organic, letting the ink do uh, its own thing. I'm going to add a little bit more of that pebble. I'm really just trying to create layers in the front of this painting using the um, just rocket air blower to blow the ink around. A uh, little bit more pebble in here. Again, just some layers uh, in the front of the painting. And I'll just finish up by continuing to let that ink move around, creating this background. So this painting could uh, be complete at this stage or one could add trees or other elements. So I hope you enjoyed um, learning a little bit with me today and I look forward to seeing your uh, foggy abstract landscapes. If you liked today's uh, video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. You can see more of my work at KareenCarpinoArt.com, in my Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest um, sites. And I'm always in the Alcohol Ink Society and the Alcohol Ink community. Happy inking!